My name's Kyle Johnson. I uh, grew up right here uh, west of Frankfort, Indiana. And I've had a lot of ups and downs. I mean, I've gotten a lot of trouble growing up. I think it like is in my DNA to have anger issues sometimes. But growing up, I got control of it. Two and a half years ago, I got with who now is my ex fiance. Um, you know, things are going great. You know, it's who, she, who I was want to be with and everything. And we we're supposed to get married first week of this past April. And uh, we had some issues and I wanted to fix them. So I wanted to, you know, stay and fix. And she just totally just like jumped ship, wanted out. And I didn't really know why. So I was like grasping for, you know, something to fix, you know, how to fix it and how to fix myself. And my uncle, who is very big in the church, I called him and kind of told him what was going on. And he offered up the Indy West Great Banquet in April. I mean, this was like four days before the banquet was going on. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm in, like, sign me up. So he signed me up for it. The Wednesday before that Thursday that I was going to the banquet, um, I found out that she had been kind of talking off and on to a guy that I had warned you know, six months ago to back off. And, you know, she kept defending him, saying he was just a friend and all this stuff. And, but, you know, when I found out that he was the reason she just like gave up so quick. I was that anger that I thought I had control of was, I mean, that like right there. This was Wednesday night. I had to move back in with my parents because she, she kept the house. And so I sit on the edge of the bed and I was just like, you know, this, I gotta get even. I mean, I was ready to hunt him down and commit the number one worst act in humanity. Like you don't, you wanna take my future away, I'm gonna take yours away. And that's when it just, it hit me. And I, I just felt God, I just felt his hand come down and just remind me, hey, you promised. And I'm a, I'm, I try to be a guy at my work as much as I can. And he said, you promised you'd go to this banquet. I said, all right, you're right. It's like when I come out of it, we'll see if I'm still angry. I'm going for it. So I went and uh, there was one part, they have a huge wooden cross that they bring in and lay on the stage. And they give you these nails and these pieces of paper and this pencil. And they say, write your sins on this paper and nail it to the cross and leave it at the cross. Well, remember that sixth was the day we were supposed to get married. Well, I, I went to a race that day because I didn't know what else to do with myself. So I still had the wrist bracelet on. I went up and nailed that bracelet to the cross itself. After that moment, I was turning it up and I was gonna be done, you know, feeling sorry for myself. And like, it's, I just have to move forward. When I say it, it changed my life, it did. I mean, in, the, in three, days, I went from having those thoughts of, you know, I mean, extreme measures that you should never, ever think to, I had a whole new outlook. I haven't missed a Sunday service since the first week of April. Um, you know, it's the first thing I think of on Monday morning around, actually when I come out of church Sunday, I mean, I'm already like planning my weekend next weekend to make sure I'm ready to go for next Sunday service. You know, I've forgiven a lot of people that I'd never even imagined I could forgive. My uncle told me it's like putting jumper cables on your faith. Um, it, it makes you want to go to church on Sunday. And, and he was right, it's just a life-changing experience. And it's not about what you want. It's about, you know, that he has a plan for you long before you're even created. I mean, he's, He's got a plan for you that you can't even begin to imagine. So every every fall, every pain that you feel is is preparing you for what you're what you were made to do.